Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Kimmy. If you're new here, today we are doing day 71 paired build. This video is a little late and I'm sorry I was messing with a G shade setting all day. So this is the G shade I had gotten. It looks really great. Let me show you without. That's what it normally would look like. With it, it's so bright and vibrant. Like, just look at the people. For example, look how dark and dingy, and then they got color. It's pretty amazing. It was actually a lot simpler than I actually expected to do it. It just, I had a little hiccup. And I'm now doing my game in full screen mode. So it looks a little weird to me because I have to have a windowed mode when I play. So I can minimize it easier. So my brain's a little woohoo. Okay. <laughs> but that said, we are going to try to make a build based on planets and I had an idea in my head to make like tiny houses but in the shape of planets at least the best that I can I don't know how this is gonna look so I'm just warning you guys now it might look kind of crappy but it's an idea in my head and then we'll go from there and see if I like it if I hate it I'll get rid of it or do something else or if I like it I just might keep it because you know time's a wasting I gotta get things done and edit this video as well so, with that said, we are going to go ahead and jump into this speed build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the G-Shade. If you guys like it, I will link the video that I use to put this in so you guys can uh, download it yourself. It's actually pretty easy to put in. It just took a minute and my computer is probably screaming at me for it. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I can. <laughs> but, um, and it's bad because I'm deaf, so I shouldn't be able to hear that. But I do. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this, and hopefully I create masterpieces, right? So there's five people, so I need like five tiny homes. Just to refresh your memory to what we did, we did Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter, and Earth. So those are the five uh, tiny homes we're going to be making, and I'm going to do based on the color scheme that I've done. So, like for example, Pluto is red and white and tan, so I will use those colors to create a nice little house. I'm not doing a solid color challenge, so please keep that in mind when I do these tiny homes. I want them to look cute, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this.
Fuck back. Finally, oh god, it's a nightmare. Ignore the outside, they look kind of hideous of all of them. But my goal wasn't the roofing or nothing like that. I just want the top of it to look like a planet of some sort. This is so perfectly round, I love it. These are all like squarish. So you gotta ignore those, but let's start with, I guess we go from in, like in order. I try to do it in order from the front. So this is Earth, of course. Sorry for moving a lot, but this is Earth. Ignore this. I don't know why I picked that up there. It looks hideous. On top, I try to make it look like Earth. Obviously, this is a sim, so you just gotta imagine it. Also, my goal was to make this all a galaxy. And these are the rings of Saturn. The little white spots are supposed to be moons. Like, I know the Earth has at least one moon, but I think there's probably more. But we're gonna go inside and give you guys a tour, because I am obsessed with all of these. I did so well. I might do the other four honestly okay so you walk in the front door and for earth i went with greens and blues like a dark green and blue so it's a very small one probably one of the smaller buildings and this is the living room i did the two different ones here there's a moon and here's the sun quote unquote so i want to make it look like the different seasons the night and day for earth 
and then you go around here it's earth so i want it gardening and floral arrangements flowers very small i wanted to be earthy brown colors too so i brought in urn i brought in the earthy browns with the orangey colors and they got a lot of mail and this is a small little kitchen so here is their bedroom cute little bedroom i wanted to bring in like the water the summer stuff like that so i brought in the water the this represents waves and that represents summer and water and then of course it is an earth without some kind of greenery then you go to the front the bathroom here and it'll bring you into a shower with some plants and plants on the wall a very simple thing that looks so weird it's not me it's the curved thing it's not me at all but that's just weird anyway that is earth now we're gonna go to the next one this is supposed to represent this is going to represent so we're gonna go in here and i am in love with this place y'all in love with it and i'm sorry if you hear that clicking noise i take a picture but wow like look at this place i love this place i, I would live here <laughs> easy this place is a bit more cluttered because my idea is that jupiter has a cat she's very intelligent um she likes to host gatherings around here it's just like my favorite spot in this whole house this little area and they have a sit down area over here and remember her colors are tan white and brown so i gave a lot of tan colors in this one and you'll see why in a minute but this is really cute the kitchen to the left here is the main bedroom this is the master bedroom with its ensuite it's got a cat nice little closet little cute area and here is the bathroom their own bathroom with a shower stall across the hall is their gym they like to work out they were also maybe back in the day they were on like a basketball team or something but i made a cute little area in here for them to work out in and then right here is the main bathroom for people to share for guests next place so this one is supposed to represent saturn with the rings and whatnot so hopefully you guys will love this one now remember jupiter and saturn is basically the same colors so I wanted to play around with a different style to make this one look different than the other one. So we walk into here and we get hit with the same color scheme, just a different style. So this is more like jungle adventure furniture, which I'm obsessed with. And I thought maybe this was an archaeologist and she has kids. So this is her living room, dining room over here. This is the main bathroom off the dining room. Very simple, nothing too fancy. <laughs> And then if you go down the hall, we got the little cute little kitchen here. The first door to the left is the master bedroom. It's very small and cramped, but she likes small rooms. She wants to give it to her kid and she has a guest room. So that's one room. And then right next door is her toddler's room. Really cute little area in here. Very simple, nothing too fancy. And then finally in this last room here is going to be the guest room again it's this a weird thing on the ceiling with the round walls you have to ignore that but it's a guest room laundry room and computer room so it's just a place for them to sleep next house on the block all right so this house represents neptune and if you're in my discord and or my groups you'll probably already seen these but i'm gonna go through it anyway this is the one i shared in my discord it's one of my favorites i love blue and white especially in this game <laughs> this is neptune's house it's a small tour nothing too fancy it's a very small house this is supposed to be with my best friend tyra she's supposed to be neptune's her favorite color is purple but neptune's blue so i had to go with blue and this is going to be her bathroom very simple, very cute. Not very big. Next place. This one is supposed to represent Pluto, which if you remember correctly, it's supposed to be like a tanny white color and red. So I had fun with this. I made it a studio apartment as well. 
and this only has one bedroom well not even a bedroom it's a studio apartment quite literally it has a nice little modernized feel to it and very clean lines and then through here is the bathroom very simple they're very simple people and then when you go up from the top when you look at it from this angle it looks like a galaxy which is what i wanted i wanted to feel like a galaxy now if i get enough likes on this video let's say if i get I don't know, 100 likes, which I doubt it, but we'll see. <laughs> if I get 100 likes, I might come back to the build and put the other four planets on here. be kind of fun. But with that said, I hope that you guys enjoy this. This is one of my favorite builds I've done, especially Neptune's room. But let me know in the comments your favorite room and why. And I will see you guys later. Bye!